clowns. What is it with clowns? They act like silly idiots and tries to be funny. But what if I told you that the act of these so-called comedians in circuses actually are much more than meets the eye? I remember watching a show on TV as a child, and there was a clown. A pretty innocent thing it seems, right? But no, because this show was actually taken off. Because a lot of parents complained about the clown telling kids that smoking was a funny thing to do and stuff. The show used to come on at 7am. I actually watched the first episode. I think it was called Don't Throw the Cake or something like that. That episode was actually pretty innocent. Just a clown acting weird and goofy and throwing cakes in people's faces, you know. But one thing that I thought was kinda creepy was the music in the background. It sounded like a love circus type music. With a lot of people screaming. A friend of mine used to tell me that the clown was a crazy man. Who used to keep people in the circus and torture them. I was sure he would just try to scare me. So of course we both started to laugh about it. But you know what's funny? I can't remember the name of the show. The title I mentioned earlier was just the title of the first episode. I've actually tried to look it up many times. But no luck. In fact, I can't find any info about the show at all on the web. I can't even find the name of it. But if I just knew why, I would totally understand. I now know the truth, at least I think so. But maybe I don't know the full truth. I only know what the police later told me at the station. Yes, that's right. It really was something much darker going on here. Six months ago, the police were investigating a case. A man had been found brutally beaten up near the woods close to where I live. And a man later told the police that a man dressed as a clown had robbed him and beaten him up badly. This seems like something you read about a lot in the newspaper, right? So of course I was sure that this was a very unfortunate thing. This was the first time in 10 years or so somebody was attacked in my neighborhood. The last time it happened were during the winter, and it was pretty similar to this attack. But the gentleman that got attacked and robbed 10 years ago had no clear memory of the robber. Could it be the same criminal? The police wasn't sure about this. However, it was very similar to the last attack, so it was very possible that it was the same person. But wait, what did this have to do with the show? Well, the first thing was that I got a very uneasy feeling. And the second was that the clown from the show had the same makeup as the clown who attacked and robbed a man six months ago. But of course it could have been a different person. But I still thought it was creepy to think about. And I had all the right to think that. Because two months ago I got a call from the police. They said that they wanted to inform all the people in this area that they had caught a man. And they said that he was dressed as a clown and he had a crazy look on his face. They said that that he most likely had been hiding in the woods and that he was attacking everyone he could. But wait a second. If he could attack everyone he wanted, why attack only one person after 10 years? That is, of course, if this is the same person. The police mentioned that he was talking a lot of rubbish and said he used to torture people in a circus many years ago. I started to sweat and it was difficult to breathe. I got a horrible image in my head. An image of the clown from the show was torturing people when kids were watching it on TV. Three days after the conversation with the police, I got something in my mail. It was a VHS tape. It had the title, Long Time No See, and I got my old VHS player I put the VHS tape in. The first thing I saw was a clown sitting in the middle of an old circus, just staring at me. 
and after a while he smirked and said, Oh, it's been such a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm talking to you. You were right all the time. I did horrible things in this circus. The circus was my home and love. I kept so many friends there, but they didn't like me. They made fun of me and said I was a loser. So I had to do it. I had to punish them. And I did it while you all were watching. I used a trick to fool you, silly kids. When you saw me acting like a total fool, I was actually torturing my enemies with powers I never knew I had. I had a power to make people suffer for all the bad things they had said about me. You see, I wasn't like all the other people in this little neighborhood of yours. I was always different, so I could fool kids to see innocent things. When you saw me as a performing clown on the screen, you actually saw me torturing people. But wait, I'm in jail, right? Or was that also a trick? I destroyed the tape right after this, but I still had nightmares about it. I always saw that clown in my dreams. I felt that none of this made sense at all. All the things the clown said on that tape. Like, what the hell did this mean? The police contacted me and said that they had had to see me. I didn't know why, but I said, sure, no problem. When I got out of the house, a police officer was standing there, looking me right in the eyes and said, You thought you could fool us, didn't you? I asked the officer what he meant, and he said, Oh, don't try to get away from this. You are the criminal we have been looking for. I didn't understand what was going on, and I had to come with the police to the station. At the station, I asked, But you arrested a man dressed as a clown. He, he did this. The police officer asked, What clown? We haven't arrested anyone. Not before we arrested you. Wait, what the hell have I done? I haven't robbed anyone. The man who got robbed was attacked by a crazy man. He was dressed as a clown. When I asked if I could use the toilet, I was followed by the officer. I went into the bathroom, and when I looked in the mirror, I almost fainted. There I stood, in a clown suit with a lot of makeup and blood on my hands and I knew the son of a bitch used his powers on me he tried to make me responsible for his crimes I knew he was some kind of monster and just a few hours after getting arrested I woke up in the morning covered in cold sweat what appeared on the TV screen in my cell was that fucking clown